COVID-19 continues to shake the planet, creating anxiety and uncertainty. But to overcome anxiety, we need to take action. I am a psychologist, I work with people for more than 15 years. And with this video, I would like to help you to reevaluate your life, to create more balance in your life, and to make the inner shift, to take control over the quality of your life. So, to get ahead, we have to get started. So, take a look at your life as a pyramid. Pyramid that has different layers. For example, health, relationship, finance, personal development, network, environment, spiritual dimension. And please evaluate each layer from the point of view of now, where you are right now in your life. Uh, not the way you feel about this layer, but in the way how much attention you give to this particular part of your life. Uh, how much investment you, you, you do, how much time you spend focusing on this particular part of your life. So, for example, health. Are you happy with uh, the way all the systems of your body are functioning? Or maybe you have sleeping problems, bad eating habits, or you don't exercise enough. So, what would you uh, put as a mark here? So, let's say five. Then you move on to the next one, relationships. Are you happy with the quality of relationships you have with your loved ones, with your kids, with your family and friends? Or maybe you are single and you would like to change this. Okay, so let's say you, have, you put four here. Finance. Maybe you've been working hard the last year and you are happy with the way things are in this dimension. So then you will put eight. Next one is personal. Personal development. This means that maybe uh, you want to add some skills, learn new language, attend a seminar, get another degree, change uh, a career. So if you have some interest in improving this particular part of your life, you can put four. Network. By network I mean all the social support that you have, uh, different type of uh, communities, organizations, uh, mentors, um, all the people that uh, uh, make your social network. So if you feel like your social network is big enough and it gives you enough of support, maybe you put eight here. Environmental. Uh, in this dimension, we usually uh, evaluate um, the quality of our physical environment, uh, like your home or your office, or even some spaces that you use often, like your car, for example, but as well the um, environment uh, in general, like our planet. If you are doing any kind of... Um, uh, any kind of... Um, uh, recycling programs or you participate in any kind of uh, projects that support the, uh, the environmental issues. So if it's so, maybe you put seven here. Next one, spiritual goals. This dimension has to do with uh, practices that you take to improve your spiritual life. Uh, maybe you do meditation or maybe you practice praying or um, any other kind of um, spiritual activities like maybe you become more uh, self-aware or you uh, practice charity this would be all in this dimension so if you are acting a lot uh, from this dimension maybe you put nine here all right so now we have all the marks in each uh, layer of this pyramid and we can move on to the next part of the chart, where we will talk about where you want to be. And um, to get started, I want you to really um, think carefully and in a way, in a smart way, about each of these uh, parts of your life. So uh, we always want to to get ahead and to to make the best results. 
but you have to be realistic and you cannot uh, maybe uh, plan to achieve the highest level of uh, satisfaction in each um, part of this uh, uh, pyramid so maybe uh, choose several where you want to really exceed and to, to bring more results next year. Uh, so, okay, so where you want to be next year in terms of your health? Maybe you want to really uh, make an improvement, so you put eight. In terms of your relationships, so if you are single and you want to find a partner, or maybe you had an um, ongoing conflict that you want to resolve and you really want to make this um, change, quality change in your relationship. So you might want to put also seven, for example, here. Finance, if you've been working hard and you feel like you are not um, in need to, to change anything, you would like to maintain the same level, okay, you put eight here. Personal. In terms of personal development, if you are interested and you have time now, maybe you would like to make this change and to add some skills uh, into your personal, your personal level. So let's say you put A2. Network, uh, if you feel like you can expand your network, if you uh, are interested, okay, let's put 10, maybe that's uh, helpful in terms of your um, a new projects in terms of your um, uh, needs that you have uh, to, to communicate more to people. Environmental here we um, we see seven for now so maybe you want to to improve a little bit or to maintain the same level it's up to you. And spiritual here we have good uh, level of results so maybe okay we keep the same level. Great. So now we have both sides of the pyramid marked and we can move on to a next task which is very important because not only grading and looking at the reality of your life at this moment uh, that is important but also to, to know how to uh, prioritize these dimensions because uh, people make resolutions every year but only six percent of them achieve the results so what i want you to do is to create another third column where you will um, make a difference between these two numbers where you are right now and where you want to be so in the spiritual dimension you put zero this is zero here we have two personal four Finance, zero, relationship, three, and health, three. And so directly you can see that uh, here are your priorities. The personal, the relationship, and the health. Your results, of course, will be different. It's just to give you an example of how this mechanism works. Because by knowing your priorities, uh, it's your real uh, subconscious and it's talking to you like that because you have you if when you look just here you you can be a little bit confused you you may not understand where to start from but knowing your priorities will give you some guideline guidelines some some direction to start with so this is what I would say a good start in terms of reflection on your life, in terms of creating more balance in your life. And I hope this video was useful to you. And if you want to learn more about me, you can click the link below this video and visit my website olgamastova.com. Thank you and stay safe. And remember that every day you take a step and decision that will change your life tomorrow.